uh, welcome to fourth session of uh, chapter number 2 polynomials of uh, class 9 and today we are going to start uh, the new topic factorization of polynomial under that we will start uh, factor theorem so before that let us revise the remainder theorem first uh, remainder theorem remainder theorem if p of x be a polynomial p of x be a polynomial then uh, and p of x is divided by x minus a then remainder is equals to p of a so this was the uh, remainder theorem now in remainder theorem uh, one type of question we have uh, we did that चेकिंग द फैक्टर ओके हम लोग चेक किए थे कि फैक्टर है कि नहीं सो हाउ वी डिड दैट वी चेक दैट वेदर रिमाइंडर इज इक्वल टू जीरो और नॉट सेम कंसेप्ट वी आर यूजिंग हियर इन द फैक्टर थ्योरम दैट इफ p ऑफ a इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ p ऑफ a इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन x माइनस a इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ p ऑफ x इज दैट क्लियर सो इन टुडे टॉपिक दैट इज फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स Uh, we will complete today a uh, factor theorem so now let us go towards factor theorem if p of x a be a polynomial okay such that p of a is equals to 0 then x minus a is a factor of Uh, p of x. So there are two parts of factor theorem. This is the first part, okay. And the second part is if p of x uh, be a polynomial such that x minus a is a factor of p of x, then p of a is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, these are the two version of uh, factor theorem. अगर p of a zero है तो x minus a factor होगा. If x minus a is a factor, then p of a is zero. And based on this, we are going to do some different types of questions. And we'll do it from uh, the second exercise. So. So there are two types of questions here. Uh, checking factor, uh, three types of questions. फैक्टर थ्योरम में थ्री देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फैक्टर थ्योरम फर्स्ट इज चेकिंग फॉर फैक्टर चेकिंग फैक्टर दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज दैट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के इफ इफ Uh, the factor is given if the factor is uh, given so this is second type of question and uh, the third type of question is using factor theorem factorize factorize cubic polynomial okay cubic polynomial means polynomial whose degree is 3 uh, this we will see later first we will complete this two part the checking part and the uh, to find the value of k if the factors factor is given okay so uh, that two type of question we are going to cover it from our uh, textbook uh, uh, the next exercise that is exercise 2.4 so let us move towards exercise 2.4 Three parts are there in this exercise. The first part is uh, factor theorem. The second part is factorization, uh, factorization of quadratic polynomial, and the third part is factorization of cubic polynomial. And factorization of quadratic polynomial you have already studied in class eight. That is by splitting the middle term. Uh, that we will, uh, I will take up in next session. Okay. So now. We are going to start the first uh, the exercise number two point four first question. I'm going to read. 
repeating the question. Determine which of the following polynomials has x plus 1 a factor. So first bit, the polynomial is given x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. And we have to check whether x plus 1 is a factor or not. So working here, x plus 1, you put it with 0 and find the value of x that is minus 1. Now we will find p of minus 1. If p of minus 1 is equal to 0, then by factor theorem x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. Okay? So minus 1 whole cube plus minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 plus 1. So what is minus 1 whole cube? This will be minus 1 only. This will be one. plus 1. Do bar minus 2 right? And this is minus 1 and this is already plus 1. So this will cancel with this one. This will cancel with this and we will get 0. So what we will write by factor theorem P, uh, x minus 1 is a factor of P of x. So like that we have to uh, check, uh, this is the first question, first bit and the second bit we are going to do, second bit, P of x is given x to the power 4 plus x cube plus uh, x square plus x plus 1, okay? And the same factor we have to check, the same uh, polynomial that is a linear polynomial, we have to check whether it is a factor of P of x or not. So same process, find the value of x that is x is equal to minus 1. Now find p of minus 1. So minus 1 to the power 4, minus 1 to the power 3, minus 1 to the power 2, minus 1, plus 1. So finally what we are going to get, here uh, 4 power, hai, that means 4 times into 2 power, to plus 1 ho jayega. and this will become minus 1, this will become plus 1, this is minus 1 and the last one is 1. So this 2 will be cancelled, this 2 will be cancelled and only 1 will be left. So P of minus 1 is not equal to 0. So this will imply by factor theorem x plus 1 is not a factor of P of x. Okay? So this is the uh, second bit of first question. Now let us move towards the third bit. X to P of x is equal to x to the power 4 plus 3x cube plus 3x square plus x plus 1. Hmm, right. So again the same process x plus 1 equate with 0. Find the value of x. Now here what you can do because all the 4 bits, this is third and the fourth bit also there, all the 4 bits are related with x plus 1 only. So this part you can do at uh, starting also. Pahle yaam karke baki bits mein hai P of minus 1 se start plus 1. Otherwise you can do separately also. So P of minus 1. Minus 1 to the power 4. 3 into minus 1 to the power 3. 3 into minus 1 to the power 2 plus minus 1 plus 1. So what we are going to get here? Plus 1. Yeh minus 3 ho jayega. This will become plus 3. Minus 1 plus 1. So 1 minus 1. Minus 3 plus 3. So here also we are getting is not equal to 0. So by factor theorem, by factor theorem, P, uh, x plus 1 is not a factor of P of x. Now let us move towards the fourth bit. P of x is given x cube minus x square minus. Uh, 2 plus root 2 into x whole, whole bracket mein hai, and plus root 2. So again we will equate with uh, that x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1. Now p of minus 1 we are going to find. So minus 1 whole cube minus minus 1 whole square 2 plus root 2 into minus 1 plus root 2. Now see this will become minus 1. And this will become plus 1, so minus already here. Now this minus and this minus, both will become plus. So what we are going to get plus 2 plus root 2 plus root 2. So see carefully, this minus 1 minus 1 2 will be cancelled with this 2. And we are getting only this one, 2 root 2, which is not equal to 
zero. So by factor theorem, x plus one is not a factor of uh, p of x. So we have completed the first question. Now let us move towards the second question. I am reading the second question. Use factor theorem to determine whether g of x is a factor of p of x in each of the following. Okay. So second question. We start from the beginning. Second question. First bit. P of x and g of x, both the polynomial is given. P of x is to x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1. Okay, and g of x is given x plus 1. What we have to check that whether g of x is a factor of p of x. So, we will do what? G of x will be equal to 0 and get the value of x. Now, we will find p of minus 1. So 2 into minus 1 whole cube plus minus 1 whole square 2 into minus 1 minus 1. So ये minus हो जाएगा, so we'll get minus 2. This will become plus 1. This will become plus 2, and the last one is minus 1. So minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3, and this is also plus 3. So we are getting zero. So by factor theorem, g of x Is a factor of p of x. So we completed the first bit. Now let us move towards the second bit. Second bit is p of x is equals to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1, and g of x is given uh, x plus 2. So again we will equate with zero of g of x. Get the value of x. We got minus 2. Then we will find uh, p of minus two. So how will you find p of minus two? Just substitute the value of x as minus two. So x के जगह पे हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं? Minus two substitute कर रहे हैं. So we'll get minus x here plus two l minus six plus one. So we'll get minus fourteen plus thirteen. So minus one, which is not equal to zero. So by factor theorem, by factor theorem, g of x is not a factor of p of x. Now the last bit of second question, p of x is equal to x cube minus. 4x square plus x plus 6 and g of x is equals to x minus 3. So x minus 3 we have to equate with 0 and get the value of x. Now we have to find p of 3. So how will you find p of 3? So just substitute uh, 3 in place of x. So 3 cube minus 4 into 3 square plus 3 plus 6. So this will be 27. And this will be minus 36 plus 9. So 27 plus 9 is 36 minus 36, which is equal to zero. So by factor theorem, g of x is a factor of p of x. So we completed the second question also. Now let us move towards the third question. Third question: Find the value of k if x minus 1. Is a factor of p of x. So factor is given, and we need to find the value of constant. This is the second type of question. Just now I told you the type of question. Second type of question is there. So first bit of third question. P of x is given. X square plus x plus k. And what is given that x minus one is a factor of p of x. So this will imply this will imply p of one is equal to zero by 
factor theorem. Now, how will you find P of 1? Substitute x is equal to 1. So, 1 square plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. We will get 1 plus 1 plus k is equal to 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. Shift to that side, it will become minus 2. So, this is the answer for first bit. Now, the second bit. P of x is equal to 2x square plus kx plus root 2. So here also, what is given that x minus 1 is a factor of P of x. So this will imply P of 1 is equal to 0 by factor theorem. Okay, now P of 1 means we have to substitute x is equal to 1 in this polynomial. So 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus root 2 is equal to 0. So what we will get 2 plus k plus root 2 is equal to 0. Uh, k ko chhod kar baaki pura side shift kar lo. So minus 2 minus root 2. So this is the answer. This we can write in this way also. As a belief. This is also correct. We can take minus common also. So this is the second bit. Now we are moving towards the third bit. P of x is equal to kx square minus root 2x plus 1. So what is given x minus 1 is a factor of P of x. So this will imply P of 1 is equal to 0. How? By factor theorem. Now how will you find P of 1? Substitute x is equal to 1 in the given polynomial. So k into 1 square minus root 2 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So we will get this one. Now shift minus root 2 that side it will become plus root 2 plus 1 ko shift karenge to minus 1 ko jayega. So final answer is root 2 minus 1. Now the last bit of third question P of x is equal to kx square minus 3x plus k. What is given that x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. So this will imply p of 1 is equal to 0 by factor theorem. Okay. So how will you find p of 1? Substitute x is equal to 1 in this polynomial. So k into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus k is equal to 0. So k minus 3 plus k is equal to 0. So k plus k will become 2k. Minus 3 you shift to this side. So it will become plus 3. So finally we will get x k is equal to 3 by 2. So these are the three questions of first exercise. The fourth question is based on the splitting the middle term that is factorization of quadratic polynomial. And the last question is based on factorization of cubic polynomial that we will take up in the uh, next session. So that's all for today's session. Thank you. Thank you very much.